Good morning, everyone. It's what I like to call Wonderful Wednesday, and today is our morning devotional. So I just wanted to welcome you back once again. Last week, Delena talked about Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, and she talked about um, that there that we have freedom in Christ. He has set us free. And that when we've sinned and we've asked Jesus to forgive us, um, Satan tries to still bind us in that sin. But Jesus, when he forgave us, he cast that sin away in the sea of forgetfulness. So we shouldn't let it burden us or uh, chain us down or make us heavy down and think about those things of the past. And so... Today, I'm going to continue. I took her advice. I started studying Galatians, and I think chapter 5 is my most favorite so far. And um, so I'm going to continue in the same chapter, but verse 13. I'm going to start there and read a few verses, um, 13 through 17, actually. So it says, You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love, for the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out, or you will be destroyed by each other. So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh, for the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit desires what is contrary contrary to the flesh they are in conflict with each other so that you are not to do so you are not to do whatever you want but if you are led by the spirit you are not under the law and it goes on to tell you what the acts of the flesh are um they're just sins idolatry hatred sexual immorality impurity um, fits of rage, selfish ambition, and you can continue reading to just read everything that's listed there, and and it says, and more. And so, basically, this verse to me is saying, you know, that I have freedom in Christ, but I have to be careful with that freedom, that I don't just go out and do whatever I want. Just because Jesus forgive me of my sins, and he doesn't bind me in chains any longer and he set me free from those sins doesn't mean that my flesh a lot of times our flesh will still desire those things but the thing about forgiveness and repentance is that we repent and we turn away but our flesh desires to sometimes go back to that old way and to start doing things that our flesh desires and that's what this is saying Okay, you've been given freedom, but don't take, um, don't go beyond this freedom. Don't submit to your flesh, but submit to the Spirit and do what I tell you to do. And one way that he says to do this is to serve one another humbly in love. And that means to love your neighbor as yourself. You've heard this before. You know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Love your neighbor as yourself. And so when I think about that, like, I love myself. I want good things. I want nice things. I want to be treated nice. I want to be respected. I want to be included. And But um, if we treat our neighbor like... If we exclude them from everything and we're hateful towards them, we don't care about them, everything's about me, 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 that is not following what the scripture is telling us to do. We are doing the opposite. And that's what we've run into is it's saying that the flesh is opposite from the spirit and the spirit is opposite from the flesh. The requirements for each are different. The flesh desires a a, a simple nature. We were born into sin. So the flesh wants to go out and sin and and, uh, just make itself happy. But the spirit, it wants to go out and it wants to bless people. It wants to Um, follow the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control, gentleness, 
all those you'll read further down in Galatians, the fruits of the spirits are listed there, and that is what the spirit is about. He's he's kind, he's sweet. It's a it's a awesome nature, and that's where whenever you think about doing something, um, you have to think about okay, is this my flesh wanting to do this, or is this the spirit telling me to do this? And you have to think about the motives behind it. Okay, is my flesh the one that's leading me to go in this path? Or is it the spirit that's leading me? And an example would be kind of like water and oil. When you have a glass of water and you pour oil into it, it separates. It does not blend together. And you can try to stir it all together and everything, and it, it tries to kind of combine, but ultimately, once you start stop the stirring, it separates. And that's exactly what the spirit and the flesh are. They're separate. And so that's where you have to make the choice. In this freedom that God's given you, you have to make that choice to follow the spirit. To love one another because if you hate each other, if you do not treat each other right, it's saying that you're going to destroy each other. And that's so true because when we get angry with someone, um, they'll get angry at us and it always ends in a fight. And that's where God is saying, no, I want you to love each other. I want you to treat each other how um, you would want to be treated. And so... That's basically just what I wanted to share with you today, um, just to follow the Spirit, uh, lay down your flesh, and put yourself in check whenever you have to do something. If it's flesh, say no. If it's the Spirit, go for it. I just want to bless you for the rest of the week, and I just hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you at Youth on Monday. Talk to you later. Bye.